Uh, I'm gonna let Ron elaborate on this for just a second. Talking about your load, okay? Your load is gonna help you with rhythm. How many of you yeah. have ever, ever heard you gotta have some rhythm in your swing? My head coach asked me one time when I was like 10, can you dance? Can you dance? You better be able to dance a little bit, okay? I've gotta be able to have some rhythm in my lower half, okay? I've gotta have that rhythm and that rhythm's got to stay the same every time. You can't let the pitcher dictate your rhythm. Okay? You can't let the pitch or the count or any of that dictate your rhythm. If one minute I'm load, stride, drive, load, stride, drive, and the next minute I'm load, stride, drive, my rhythm's off. Therefore, my swing's going to probably be off. Okay? Talk to me, Brian, about what that that rhythm and that load helps us do as far as see the pitch, read the pitch. Well, one, I never want to rush my load. I never want to get into a tempo to where it's too quick for me to be consistent with. All right, I like to have a two count in my head, okay? A one, two. And by the time I hit, I hit that two, my front foot's down and I'm ready to fire. What this is doing for me, if I think about it in the game, the pitch is coming to me at this time when I'm getting this load. So I don't want it to be rushed to where it's coming out of the pitcher's hand and I'm down already sitting there, sitting there, sitting there, sitting there, right? I want to feel myself when I'm loading being able to track that ball at the same time to where when that front foot hits the ground, the ball's in my hitting zone where I want it to be. You got me? But that's got to be consistent. Like Jonathan said, if I have the tempo changed to where sometimes one, two, sometimes it's one, two, three, sometimes it's one, that pitcher when he's throwing to me, I'm gonna be off. Yeah, the ball's gonna be way out here, maybe way back here. The ball's gonna be in a whole different location. And that's where we get into the, I'm a little bit out front sometimes. Yeah. I'm a little bit late. My timing's off. Yeah, my rhythm's off. And it's from what I practice with. So I gotta really think, especially when I start doing lower half, weight shift especially, I gotta think about that rhythm. I gotta think about that being consistent so that my result off the tee and in the game is gonna be a lot more consistent as well. You got me? So that's what we gotta start thinking about mm -hmm. when we continue through this weight shift.